Hey there, everyone. James Lassie here, Master Financial Planner, Chapter President of the Society of Financial Awareness, as well as the CEO of Laster Financial. <laughs> uh, many of your questions have come to me either by way of our Facebook, YouTube comments, or uh, folks that we're consulting with directly. So if I'm hearing their questions over and over again, I'm gonna make sure that I put those questions out for folks just like you and you get to receive, right? So if you like what you're gonna hear, please like and share this video, but more importantly, if you have questions, please feel free to comment in the chat box. It's all about others, right? So let's talk about life insurance. There are four types of life insurance. We'll talk more in, de in depth with those in our next video, but let's just talk about those four types of life insurance and talk about what's similar about all of those types of policies, okay? So the four types of life insurance uh, that we have, and there's many different variations, but the four types of life insurance that we have is one, there's term insurance, there's whole life, there's index universal life, and there's variable universal life. Now, though I won't go into detail with those policies in this video, I do wanna talk about what's similar with all of those types of policies. Four things I wanna share with you. The first thing is that all of those policies have an owner and insured and a beneficiary. A owner insured and a beneficiary. The owner is the one who obviously owns the policy, but the the owner can be mom, can be dad, right? Uh, a, a daughter or a son can have a policy on their parents because there's an insurable interest. A business can have a policy on a business owner or a company you work for can have a policy on you. God forbid something happens to you, you don't show up to work tomorrow, they got enough money to go hire somebody else. This is an insurable interest. The next item that, that's so important is the fact that the proceeds from a life insurance policy is tax free. So when you pass away, those proceeds from your life insurance policies go to the beneficiary, the one who receives the policy, tax free those tax free okay uh, which brings me to my next point how do you get the cheapest life insurance how do you get the cheapest life insurance to get the cheapest life insurance your life insurance is based on your age and your health I always tell people your money doesn't buy life insurance your health does voila just let the cat out of the bag right uh, so to get the cheapest life insurance, you must find the best possible policy while you're younger. Don't wait too late because the cost of the insurance then becomes rather expensive, okay? Which brings me to the DOL rule, more specifically the 2017 DOL rule. You see, Based upon that ruling, it highlighted a few new ways to practice within the life insurance industry. So the way that life insurance is presented to you, that is regulated. That Yes, that's regulated. Then it comes with illustrations and so forth. But more importantly, more importantly, the DOL rule shares that all the new policies have living benefits added on to them. What are living benefits, you may ask? Living benefits is your way to receive life insurance proceeds before death. Did you know that you can touch your death benefit before you die? Well, the deal rule states that you can. If you are current on your life insurance premiums and so forth, and you have a terminal illness, meaning that the doctor says that you're not gonna live more than 12 to 24 months. Or let's say there's a chronic illness, a critical illness, critical injury, heart attack, cancer, stroke, kidney failure, uh, uh, 
very bad car accident, you name it, these policies are now able to cover it. You just need a doctor's note. Which brings me to my last point. Although we talked about the four types of life insurance, you got term insurance, whole life insurance, index universal life insurance, and variable universal life insurance. To find out which one is best, you're gonna to have to watch our next video. <laughs> so by all means, please leave all your comments uh, uh, down below, like and share this video. I uh, look forward to corresponding with you guys. You can definitely be a part of all of our conversations on the Laster Financial on Facebook uh, and go to lasterfinancial.com uh, for more uh, questions or concerns that you may have. Just reach out to us. We want to be here to answer your questions. You guys take care and be well.